Uh, firstly, uh, this is my first time at ALPSP, and it's amazing to be here. And I really loved the tone that was set in the opening keynote about the fact that we're living in really exciting times and that there's you know, lots of rapid change that's going on. Um, it's certainly been a rapid change for us. So three years ago, my co-founder and I were designing control systems for driverless cars and writing research papers with our other research partners and with our lab. Um, and as part of that, John built a piece of software that made it easier for us to collaborate. And because it was on the internet, um, a lot of other people really started using it. And it's been an amazing few years. And the reason why I think people started using it was because you know, the internet has done a huge amount for making it easier to connect with people, discover new research. And there was a piece of uh, research done by the Royal Society which shows that collaboration is increasing. You know, more papers are written by more than one international author. And that those collaborative works actually get more attention and get more citations. But what we found, you know, collaboration was really frustrating. We were emailing files back and forth. And we're mathematicians, so we used to write in LaTeX, but we were working with other people in um, disciplines that were more used to Word. And if you email a LaTeX file to someone who uses Word, then you really don't get anywhere. So, you know, this problem then gets exacerbated by the fact that these files have to be passed around to reviewers, they have to be passed around to publishers and editorial teams, and you just create this big mass of documents. So what Overleaf does is it puts the document in the center and different people access it at different times, and everyone's always got the latest version, and it just simplifies the whole process. Um, it's a really simple web interface. We try to make it as easy as possible to get started. Um, so about over half of our users are students, um, and they use it because it's really easy to use. You go to the website, you click create a new paper, and you can write your paper. You don't even have to sign up to try it out, and it's free for authors to use. Um, you can see there that that doesn't look very much like LaTeX. Um, so we've built this nice rich text mode, um, which sits on top of LaTeX so you can edit in a more Word-like environment if that's what you like. Um, but underneath, um, there's a full support for LaTeX, so if you're a mathematician or you like to use that format, you can do. And you can also upload files associated, you know, images and figures that you need to put into your paper. One of the big requests we had sort of a year or so ago was for track changes and commenting. So there's now a really easy way to insert comments and a really easy way to view changes. Um, this was particularly important for students who wanted to get feedback from a research supervisor um, who had very little time and wanted something that was as easy as possible for them to use. Um, but you know, we get some really great feedback. And actually, so this is a, a little case study that I like to talk about. So Artem um, worked, Artem's based in Montreal. Um, Jacob, one of his collaborators, is based in Oxford in the UK. And David's based in the Moffat Cancer Center in Florida. And they got together, and they wrote a paper on Overleaf in just four days. And then they put it out there in the archive. And that was research that otherwise might well have languished you know, on notes in a, in a file, in a drawer, you know, until they had time to finish it. But they had, a, they had a weekend, long weekend, to do some work together, and they got that paper out there. We also have some big collaborations on Overleaf, so there were 62 authors on a paper that was recently submitted to F1000 Research, and Michael needed a bit of help with some table positioning in LaTeX, and because the document's online, one of our experts could go in and give him some quick help just before he submitted. So we're making it a lot easier for people to you know, get their papers in the right format and in the right state to be submitted. We're not just working with publishers, so we've got a big pilot going with Stanford University who are rolling it out to their staff and students. Um, so this makes the pro version of Overleaf available to all the staff and students, and the libraries get some more data on who's collaborating with who, you know, is physics, the physics department working with biology more? Are we working with Harvard more or with MIT more? And so if there's, any institution, if there's any librarians in the audience, please do grab me afterwards, and I can give you more information. Um, we link to a lot of other tools that authors use. Um, you can publish to a lot of different destinations when you've finished. Um, we do customizable templates, specifically for journals, where we put in the information, the author guidelines, into the template. And we can push into systems like Editorial Manager and Scholar One when you've finished. This whole yeah, there's a whole editorial workflow thing there that um, F1000 Research are using so that when a paper comes in, the editorial team gets access to it, and it's a protected version so they can make comments and leave track changes for the author, 
Then when, at the, when they're ready, they invite the author to view those changes. It can very, very quickly, over a couple of days, clear up some minor formatting issues with the paper and get it ready for publication. And you know, they, they do post-publication peer review, so they want to get these papers out as quickly as possible. And they went from not having any latex submissions to 10 to 15% of submissions every year now come through us. So yeah, over a quarter of a million people are now using it worldwide. And if you're a publisher or an institution, grab me afterwards for a chat. Thank you very much. Thank you.